Hi everyone, I am Nutrix and today we're talking about Flux Pro for iOS and Mac and I think also for Windows. I love this approach. Personally, before we even talk about Flux Pro itself, I love the fact that you can have the same plugin on your iPad and on your Mac. For me, it's a big plus because I'm using a lot Zen Beats when I create music and to be able to save on my iPad online and then go to my computer, load it in the computer and continue working with the rest of the gear, but still have access to the same plugin. It's just everything should be like that, especially because I've got an iPad that is an M1. That's it's capable of running everything you have on the Mac. So I'm waiting for everybody to do that. First thing. Second, if you know Flux Mini and Flux Mini 2, which was released couple of days ago they're great they're fun it's it's a way to create movement and basically add lfos if you want to any sound the pro if you like the mini the pro will make you just super happy it is well, let's, come we'll look at it i just really want to show you how simple it is to create complex modulation with just one single straight sound. So let's actually record something. Here. That's it. That's all I want. Simple straight sound. I'm going to add Kalem. And I'm sure I'm not using the right pronunciation. We go Flux Pro here. Okay. Right away, we have this movement. Now, before we go further, just go, rapidly go, let's go around the, the UI for this one. You've got these three different source of modulation here. And every time you click on it, you're switching the graphic. And of course, you can just draw what you want, basically. Click on these, the, the purple kind of uh, bluish purple control are controlling the kind of uh, angles and the dots. If you point one, you had a new dot and you can just draw stuff around and it's fairly complex what you can do with that now how do we go from having this drawing controlling something it's what is under it you've got these different like this uh, different effects if you want you've got a filter you've got an empty empty and empty okay you've got the cutoff point here this is around the movement of the cutoff point. If you want it to be softer or slower, you change the tempo here. Now the same movement we see here is gonna be on one bar because it's synced. What we have is a filter, filter number one. You can have two filters at a time. Uh, yeah, that's it, two filters. This one is the low pass. And, and what I like is that even when you get to the, the, the yellow foe, you've got a lot of controls. You got low pass, bend pass, high pass, notch filter, all pass. I'm not really sure where an all pass is. There's resonance. There's a high, high shelving. There's a low shelving. There's ladder. So you've got these classic mini Moog type of sounds. You have the formant filter, like a voice of a man. And you've got these uh, Riley lim link widths, Riley low pass, high pass, and a pass. I don't know what a pass, all pass probably. So these are the options. Let's go back to the, I don't know, low pass 24. So I've got my filter, that's one thing. Second one, you can load something else, say a delay. And of course you can just bring it up. And this is static. Now it stays with the value you just gave it. Now if you want to move that, let's say it was like B, I want it to be a little bit softer. And I want to draw something. I can actually select a shape that I have here, like a side chain shape or like this one, okay. And I can just drag it here. Now I've got the movement. Now I want to have that movement on, let's say, I don't know, the mix. Okay. Mix is this value. 
While I press on B to be sure I'm on B, I can go here and I select that I have more of that one. That's kind of how it works. Now, last one, C, I can, again, draw something else. So I go side chain here. Now, these two movement happening, would be too fast. And this, I'm gonna pick another one. Say, so I'm gonna go with uh, fixed delay. So this is a weird one, fixed delay. Actually, I use a graphic. And use a graphic you see here. Let's try ring rate modulation. Kind of a distortion in a way. So now this one I could actually do something when I just want to have distortion on special places. That's kind of how you would build a, something like that. Again, let's just go see what they have with the synth. You'll see how. Now you understand how this works. You've got A, which is doing this. It opens something. It opens the delay. B kind of changes. What does it move? What does B affects? Not really anything. The fix, oh yeah, the fixed delay is controlled by B. So if I go like this, that's the fixed delay. So this little movement that you have all the time here. This is totally weird and it's kind of a pitch. That's the only thing I wish I had. It was a dedicated control over the pitch so you can actually do this. And you can just like. So this is weird again. Let's try another one. Again, like we go earlier, if we had this one, and right right away you get that. It, and remember, this effect—that's what it's giving you all that sound because by itself it it doesn't have the original sound is just this, you know flat line sound. For the bass, you have also. Imagine this. Imagine how complex that is. And it's, let's add a new track just for fun. Let's copy this. And I'm going to load something just to have, again, something to play. This one, let's say. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go back here. Let's go back to Flux Pro. And this one, let's try to go with Synth. Uh, where's the other one? And the two are basically just two straight line of a C3 playing, that's it. This is incredible. It's just like so fun to play with. 
go back again and go to this one and say, well, I'm going to try another one. Let's say I'm going to try the drum like. Okay, let's go back to this one. Let's try to have something that has more distortion in this. Get the effect here, here. That's it. So very fun, very easy to play with it. Now you just have to click and decide where you want to go from here, you know, and again, you can take these. You can even save the one you have, say that's what I want, and then later on you can bring it back in, you know? It's the one I just did. So you can really design what you like and apply it to what you want, and it's just like, it is really fun. Now, this is only one part of it, because if you click on settings, you also have other things like you have controls over the grid, the size of the grid, in milliseconds of how you want to smooth it. There's control over, um, ways to grab these and move them i need to practice that again because uh i'm not sure how to do all of this i you know it's it's a new plugin this is just great and fun to play with now if you like this kind of creative modulation it becomes almost an rpg or applied to your uh, original static sound or even complex sound already this is just a cool plugin to play with Flux Pro from Caleb Audio. That's it. Have fun. Make music. See you soon. Bye.